You're watching Channel 6, WDSU-TV, New Orleans. After midnight, we're not just a TV show, we're a support group. Welcome to New Orleans After Midnight. I'm your host, Bernie Cyrus, and it's another great season. We're here in Lakeview, beautiful downtown Lakeview, that is, at Paul Lake's Pub, one of my favorite hangouts. And I know you're going to enjoy tonight's show, because it wouldn't be a new season without my good friend Aaron Neville. We'll be featuring his new video, Say What's In My Heart, and we'll also catch up with him in backstage at Jeff Fest, and we'll talk about what's going on in his life and his music. Also, Chris Thomas King, the rock and blues soulful singer from Baton Rouge is in the house. We're going to talk to him about his new CD. We're going to play the video right afterwards, and I know you're going to like it. And we're going to go back and do a little retrospective look of last season, New Orleans After Midnight's Best Of series with Tom's House, a video that we shot at Howlin' Wolf, and man, I'm telling you this. New Orleans After Midnight is brought to you by the Louisiana Lottery Corporation. Jam or hung out with the very best of America's blues men, including Willie Dixon, Robert Cray, and the great John Lee Hooker. Let's say hello to Chris Thomas King from Baton Rouge. Hey, Chris. Hello, Bernie. All right. Good yeah. to see you again, brother. Well, it's good to be here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's good to be back in America because you were a big thing in Europe uh, for a few years. How did that happen? In Paris, they, they've had this love affair with, with uh, American music and American culture and stuff. And, you know, for a long time, from Josephine Baker to whomever, and Miles Davis right. and all this, uh, they really really embraced what I was doing and, and that helped me to establish somewhat of a establish you know my sound and what I was doing all over Europe. Really. You, you like to con consider uh, bringing your generation to the blues. Uh, what is that exactly does that mean? Well I was the first artist to really you know bring blues and rap and hip-hop together. Before and Lenny Kravitz was even doing a lot well, of Well before, <laughs> before anybody was doing it. This was like five or six years ago. And America wasn't ready for it, so I, I, Europe was so ready. You right. know, I, I had a really great time over there. I lived there, but I decided, hey, it's time to come back home, come back to Louisiana. And I came back about a year and a half ago, and I'm happy that I did. Well, look, I just believe that you got some great stuff here. It's a great record. We've been listening to it tonight at Paul Lake's Pub. Everybody seems very receptive to it. Uh -huh. I expect big things from you. Let's go take a look at the video. Impatiently, Chris Thomas King. Mm -hmm. 